My friends know I'm a really big movie buff, and I named Vivienne after a movie character. She was named after Vivienne Walker in a sisterhood. For me, I feel like I'm slowly accomplishing what I've always wanted to do. I've always dreamed really big, and my mom planted that in all three of my siblings, you guys can do anything. I love nursing my babies. It's such a special bond for me. I would have to say my favorite thing about hosting Redneck Island 4 was the cast. They were the most genuine, fun, and down-to-earth southerners. They just reminded me of the kids I went to school with. If anything gets in the way of me being a good mom or wife, I simply say no. I was always meant to be a mom. As soon as I had my kids, it just felt so natural. I hate those unrealistic goals that people place on women. It's just not right. It took us 9 months to have our babies and put on this weight. I gained 55 pounds with my daughter, so I get it. It's tough. But you can't just pop out a baby and expect to be the size you were before. It just doesn't work like that. They say pregnancies can differ depending on whether you're carrying a girl or a boy, so for me, I think having a little boy is definitely easier on my body, or I'm just better prepared. My mom is a beautiful, amazing woman. We didn't have a ton of money growing up, and even, at one point, we were living on food stamps. But my mom still managed to make sure we ate healthy and were always fed nutritious meals. I always feel guilty when I want to go get my nails done or hair done because it takes time away, but I know moms need that alone time, too. I think I get my alone time when I have to go fly and do a work trip. After work's done, I go check into my hotel, and I get to have a few hours to myself to order room service and just be quiet and silent. I worked as a belly dancer at a Greek restaurant senior year in high school. I always say you just need 20 minutes a day. That is it, 20 minutes to do really fast circuits, and you can bring some weights with you to work. I like to do heavy lifting, so it's a great thing to have meals that have a lot of protein to maintain that. I do have some songs where it is about my relationship with my husband, and it does get very personal. I just don't really like going to the gym that much, and I love eating. If you don't want to put on any makeup, try some fake eyelashes. They make your eyes pop and give you a little confidence boost. I just love Italian, and I think, from being Italian, I just love Italian food. When I got married and when my sister got married, my mom made us both individual cooking books with all of our family recipes and pictures and kind of the history with our Sicilian family, so that was really special. I signed with Big Yellow Dog and have been with them for years. The president of the company is a woman named Carla Wallace, who is an amazing publisher who just has a knack for female artists. I signed with Big Yellow Dog and have been with them for years. The president of the company is a woman named Carla Wallace, who is an amazing publisher who just has a knack for female artists. I'll be honest, I naturally have a pretty good eyebrow shape. I always have. I would get made fun of when I was younger because they were so thick. I think the one I'm most proud of as a songwriter is Breaking Your Heart because it was just a different style for me. It was very, I feel like it was very old-timey Patsy Cline. It's got a very 50s feel to it, and I pushed myself to write those lyrics very intimately with my co-writer Ted Bruner. Every single sport works out your body in a different way, and you can almost point out their bodies, like, that's a swimmer. That's a football player. I watched Newlyweds Dash that was my favorite reality show because I love Jessica Simpson. I'm obsessed with her. I always knew I was going to be a mommy, and because I came from a family of three kids, I always assumed I would have three. I've always been that person who struggled to find a swimsuit that I love. If you walk into the room, and you're smiling and have a pep in your step, people are going to be drawn to you. If you walk into a room and you're sad and you look insecure, it's bad energy. For the most part, I keep it true to who I am with southern, trendy, and comfortable looks. I like to bring that element when I go to places like Los Angeles and New York City because I know a lot of people have a set look there, and I like to be different, and I am still going to wear my Daisy Dukes and my denim overalls. I write in the weirdest places. I wrote Girl on the Coast in my car with the kids in the back and Eric driving. 
I just wrote the whole thing on my phone. I just typed out the lyrics. Being a mom has made me feel more like a grown up. I was always a kid at heart. It makes me feel like I did my purpose in life. I love to hit the gym when I can. I usually work out three times a week and do circuit training. I'm going to be that little old lady that's just, like, walking around and just, like, full of energy, probably with bright red hair or something crazy. Sometimes, men just need a little push. Men won't always be like, you are so beautiful. You look great today. And sometimes women want to hear that. I moved all the time as part of a military family, and I just really did not have very many friends. I remember having these feelings of walking into a room and feeling that nobody likes me, or thinking, I'm going to have to sit alone at lunch again. When you have kids, it can be hard sometimes because you've got to find creative ways to spend time with each other. So with lights down low, I wanted to just write about all the things that we do to try to keep the love alive in creative ways because you can't always go out on a date. But you can make a date at home. I think that people can have their hand in as many different things as they want. You've just got to put your mind to it and just do it. What does get hard is when I'm put in the box of, oh, she just woke up one day, did a reality show, and decided she wants to be a singer. That's offensive, and it's not the case with me. I'm not perfect, but I do my best. I'm a firecracker when it comes to my husband. I'm a stand by my man kind of girl. I have the happiest, most confident babies, and I know it's because they feel that strong love from their parents. Every mom knows it's hard to take care of yourself while you're trying to take care of your children because, when you become a mother, you become so selfless. I have containers and containers of clothes that I've hoarded in my attic, and I probably should give them away to give good use, but I am selfishly wanting to hold on it because I'm like, what if I need that? I think if you're a good person and spread happiness, good things will come to you. I don't want anyone to ever feel they are alone and no one likes them, or to feel as insecure as I did. I work really hard and have had many opportunities to give up and throw the towel in. But I never did. Having a family is just my fave altogether. I love having these babies that love you unconditionally. It's amazing to always have such strong love. I feel so fulfilled. When you're pregnant, make sure your husband rubs your feet, and your neck and your back and everything.